Hey everybody, and welcome to Locking Pole. Today, uh, I have a lock that I got from the scrapyard I'm going to try to pick. But first, I just wanted to show you this Ilko that I uh, pulled apart the other day by Complete Fluke. So I just wanted to show you. I thought it was really cool the way it was put together. So, yeah, if you give me a second here, I'll try to show you what's up with it. Okay, first off, I was trying to pick this, and it, it wasn't very hard to do, but I noticed that there was, like, a gap, or, like, this was, like, you could really tell that it was, you know, able to come out of there. So what happens is, the they have a spring that goes in there. I'll try to sh show you. There's a spring that goes in there if you can see it there and then from there there's your shackle right like that and then there's this little piece that goes in like that and that's your locking pole right there but to make that work it would have to have this spring on it and if you look one arm is shorter than the other and that's the one the spring will sit on like that and then you put that in there push it in uh, like so I don't want to break that Yeah, there. And then this would go inside through here, like that. And then if you look on the back, this is like the actuator part. It would sit in there like that, and then roll that back to open it, right? Like roll it back. Oh, look at that. It went in focus. Awesome. So you can really see what's happening in there now. See how the locking pawl is just how everything works. And then this would be inside there. But it's a real pain in the ass to get it in and out. But on the back here, these are your pins right here. One, two, three, four are your wafers. Right. And then this is what holds the uh, plug in, in the cavity. So... If you look, it, see those two, that's where it would get it to go. It's really hard to get it in and out. But I've only done, done it once or twice, and that's what the inside of that looks like. Wow, is it ever nice having this in focus right now. But one thing, uh reason why I'm showing this is because right now I don't know how to get these pins out of here I don't know how to get the wafers out because I want to clean this up and put it all back together so, so it works again really well but this isn't anything here right here this isn't anything I don't think like it's not a pin but these ones are and then there's nothing there and then on this side you can see this is that retaining wafer it's really hard to depress and then these are my th my wafers or maybe it's just not meant to come apart or something but yeah I don't want to start forcing things I'm just hoping uh, maybe somebody has a trick on how to do this maybe they seen a a wafer plug like this and they know a trick or something I'm supposed to do so yeah I just and plus I just thought people would like to see how everything went together and whatnot and how it all worked and then yeah once everything was in there and then this would sit right on there like that real sneaky like so yeah if you ever uh come across one of these and you can't get it open that's what you do you take the insignia off of it
pull that out. Pull everything, all the guts out. Right. Just pull it out like that with like a little jackknife. Pull the shackle. Dump the thing. to da you're in, right? Okay. Anyway, I just thought people would like to see that. Ilko. Yeah, and if anybody uh, knows how to get these out of here, that would be really cool if you let me know. Okay, everybody, thanks for showing up. Thanks for watching. Have a good day, and have fun, and keep on picking.